The millionaire sent his spoiled daughter to live in the country, but when he went to visit her, he was shocked by what he saw. David had just returned from his office in the evening. He grabbed a bottle of juice from the freezer, poured it into a glass, and started drinking. Summer had begun, with longer days and shorter nights. After that he went to Leah's room only to find it empty. He had brought her favorite chocolate, but he could tell that his daughter was feeling depressed. He called out to her while climbing the stairs to the second floor. Leah, Leah, he called his heart racing. When he reached the second floor, he saw that her door was closed. He entered with a pounding heart and found her standing by the window, looking out at the city with a sad expression. How are you, my dear? What are you doing here? He asked, concerned. I'm fine, Dad. I just miss Mom so much, Leah replied sadly. Come, my dear daughter. I was waiting for you. They went back to the first floor, where David carefully lifted Leah up. His full name was David Miller, and his daughter's name was Leah Miller. Leah was 15 years old. When she was seven, her mother Sarah had passed away. David had married Sarah out of love, and after her death, he couldn't bring himself to marry again. He wanted to keep Sarah's memory alive in his heart forever. He himself was heartbroken after losing her, but he never let Leah see it. He was the owner of a cosmetics factory and had considerable wealth, but his business was still in its early stages. After Sarah's death, he devoted all his attention to Leah and made sure she had every comfort. Wherever he went, Leah was by his side. It was true that David was still grieving for Sarah, but Leah was his refuge. He had dedicated all his wealth to her, wanting her to never want for anything. But in reality, he missed Sarah terribly. Sarah had come from a village, and after they got married, David had brought her to the city with him. When they reached the first floor, he gave Leah some chocolates and told her the good news that they would be having dinner at a five-star hotel that night. A smile appeared on Leah's face, and David felt like he had achieved a great success. After dinner, he went to Leah's room to discuss an important matter. Leah, I'm moving my business to another state. It will greatly benefit our company, but it means I'll have to stay there for some time, David began. He took one look at Leah's face and continued, You're still young. I want you to spend this time in your mother's village. You know her brother lives there, and they would all be thrilled to see you. I have deposited a large sum of money into your bank account, enough for you to live in luxury for the next 50 years. Live in luxury, he said convincingly to Leah. All right, Dad, if you like it, I'm ready for it, Leah agreed. I also think that you should spend your childhood in a peaceful environment. When you become mature, then you should shift here with me, and the important thing is that your mother is also from the same village. David further explained. Now Leah had agreed, David had to leave Leah in the village the next week. It was early morning when they both got in the car. David had to go with his daughter, but he remembered the one time he went with Sarah. It was morning time, but the heat was rising. He turned on the AC of his car, and the music was playing softly with it. After a long time, Leah was traveling towards this village, which was full of beautiful landscapes. Leah, I just want to spend a few years on the business, and then everything will be perfect. It's just a matter of a few years, then I'll come back and take you too, he said while driving. Okay, Dad, they are very nice people, especially my mother's brother. I'm also tired of the hustle and bustle of the city. Leah's eyes were on the road. After about two hours of driving, they reached the village. The fresh air and atmosphere of the village were extremely wonderful. Sarah's brother was very happy to see Leah and David in front of him. He welcomed them. When they found out that Leah would be with them for a long time, then all of them were happy. David left the next day. He had to reach another state. His business had expanded, but he was a hardworking person. After his separation from Sarah, he focused all his attention on his business and Leah. The few years that David spent in another city for business proved to be very difficult for him. But he often spoke to Leah on the phone. He had no idea how Leah had made up for Sarah's absence. He often missed Sarah. It had been eight years since he was separated from Sarah. But there was not a single day in these eight years when he did not miss Sarah. After almost five years, he returned to his home. 
He was very excited to see Leah now, after five years. He thought that he would spend the night alone at home, and the next morning he would go to the village to pick up Leah. He made a decision, but this night was sad for him. He was alone, but Sarah's countless memories were with him. Even if he wanted to, he could not forget Sarah. As the night got deeper, he started missing Sarah more and more. He started feeling suffocated, so he went to the second floor. He opened the window and looked out at the city. Traffic on the road was flowing as usual. The splendor of the city was at its peak, but the loss of Sarah was irreparable. He took sleeping pills and fell asleep. The next day, he woke up at noon. After bathing, he got ready. He missed Sarah and Leah a lot. He drove the car forward, and now his direction was towards Sarah's village. Villages. When he entered the village, everything was associated with memories of Sarah. There were tears in his eyes. Suddenly, he remembered that there was a park in front of Sarah's house. When they both used to come to this village, they often used to enjoy in the same park. He turned his car towards this park. He didn't inform Leah that he was coming to pick her up. David wanted to surprise her. After Sarah, there was no peace left in his life. He remembered her smile. Everything became a memory. After that, there was nothing interesting left. He lived his life in a very tragic way. Everybody said to him, David, you have changed, but he kept quiet. Although David had a lot of money, in real life, he felt very lonely. He got dark circles around his eyes. He never found any relief after that. He went to the park, where he and Sarah used to sit most of the time. He was shocked to see that Sarah was sitting there. She looked like she was 20 years old, just like when they first met. For a moment, he felt as if he was having a dream. 21 years ago today, he had met Sarah for the first time in this same park. She was sitting on the same bench. Today, 21 years later, Sarah looked exactly 20 years old. His heart was beating loudly. He came running towards her. Sarah? David asked with a beating heart. She was lost in thoughts. She suddenly looked at David with a surprised expression on her face. When he came closer to her, she was not Sarah, but she looked exactly like her. If she had been Sarah, she would have been 41 years old, but she looked 20 years old. Oh, Dad, you forgot me. I am Leah David, she replied. Her style and voice were just like Sarah's. She hung David. David had tears in his eyes. When he married Sarah, she was 20 years old. Now he was seeing Leah after five years and she was like Sarah. She came home with David. It was the same house where Sarah and David had spent the most beautiful days of their lives. As soon as he entered, he was surrounded by memories of Sarah. Even his tears were not stopping. It was a tragic story. Leah was hugging him and crying. David was very sad for Sarah. It looked like he was going to faint. But for the last 20 years, he had found peace today. It was in the form of Leah David. She was a sign of Sarah and his peace. Your mother was just like you, Leah. Her eyes and especially her smile. I thought Sarah was sitting in the park, David said with a shudder. There were tears in his eyes. Leah wiped David's tears with her tissue. Meanwhile, David took out a picture from his wallet with shaking hands and gave it to Leah. Leah carefully looked at this 19-year-old picture. In it, David stood with Sarah. Sarah was carrying one-year-old Leah. She was smiling. She was a copy of Sarah. This was a picture of Leah. I am alive with this picture. David's tears were still not stopping. For the first time in her life, Leah was seeing David so sad. Leah hugged the picture of her parents and David. I'm glad I got Sarah's copy. David smiled as he hugged Leah. Life is so strange, he thought. This is the end of this story. Share your thoughts and comments below. See you soon.